Now, Busia Governor Sospita Ojamong has denied abuse of office charges in an 8 million shillings fraud case against him and eight others. Ojamong, who was in the dock for the second day in a row, instead shifted the blame to the county executive committee member in charge of water and sanitization, who he says was responsible for approving payments. Meanwhile, the DPP has dropped the murder case against Omar Lali, the boyfriend to the late Karoche Harris, Tekra Muigai. The DPP, in dropping the case, proposed an open inquest into the matter. Thursday morning. Your Honor, in a man, Madam R. Kulise. Busia Governor Suspita Ujemong will appear before Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogote to give his unsworn statement in charges of abuse of office. It is the fourth charge facing the governor, who is also accused, among others, a conspiracy to commit an offense of economic crime and defrauding the county government. Your Honor, I wish to deny categorically that I never conferred 8 million shillings improperly to Madam R. Enterprises. The money in question, the 8 million, was authorized by the county executive committee. Ojamong denied approving the payment to Madam R. Enterprises before passing the buck to the county executive committee member in charge of water and sanitation, who he argued approved the payment. CC for water, health, and the water and environment addressed to me requesting me to authorize the project to proceed since they have, they have gotten funds from the department. Ojamong further argued that the two projects which included a solid waste management plan and the feasibility study saved the county 17 million shillings. Had the county government alone undertaken solid waste management in the county, we would have spent over 15 million shillings in the year. The case continues on Friday, with witnesses expected to continue giving their testimonies. Meanwhile, three former Kenya Pipeline Company employees were arraigned in court and pleaded no guilty to abuse of office in foul charges. The three included the former Kenya Pipeline Company Managing Director Charles Kiprotich Tenui, Elias Maina Karome, and Josephat Sirma. They were each released on a cash bill of 700,000 shillings or a bond of 3 million shillings. The matter is allocated to Honorable Victor Wakumile SPM for further proceedings and determination to trial on 3rd of August 2020. Omar Lale said to be a freeman after the DPP applied to withdraw murder charges against him. In applying to withdraw the charges and seek for an open inquest, the DPP pointed out he had reviewed toxicological evidence, detailed post-mortem reports, found records, other documentary exhibits and witness statements. Mean that the accused person present today may not subsequently be charged with the same offense. It is possible. So it is not an evasion. We are not evading. The state wishes to pursue other means of investigation. It does not mean that the case against the accused has been thrown away completely. Reporting for Skills of Justice Channel 1 News, I'm Serafina Robey.